everyone, how are we doing? This is Thomas with Pocket Change. Now, I was working on a Morgan Dollar bell, and I just wanted to kind of bring it in and show everybody on YouTube uh, some of the processes that I'm going to be doing uh, on this. So I'm just going to kind of go through a couple of the steps and just kind of show you how hard it is to press this thing. Now, I have already kind of got it domed out, and you can kind of see what it looks like, and you can already... You know, still see the beautiful look of the eagle. All right, and I do, I believe, have a video of this on YouTube that you can check out the final look of the Morgan Dollar Bell. Um, but let's get to it now. This is the top doming part of the Morgan Dollar, and I will do another second, second one of the actual, uh, really getting into the doming part of it. Um, by using these bigger uh, presses or these these bigger dies. Sorry about that. All right. So first thing we want to do is always heat the coin up. Now um, I have a, a heating table over here, uh, which I'm just going to lay the coin down and I'm going to heat it up. Now I'm not going to heat it up that much. I just want to heat it up enough where I feel the coin is going to be soft enough to maybe fold or stretch or do what I need to do, okay? I'm going to be doing this with the light off, so it's going to be a little bit darker, um, but it's actually okay. Um, and I'm just going to heat this up. Now, I have a low heating torch um, that doesn't produce a lot of heat uh, as the other torch bottles do. So I'm just going to go around this coin, and I'm doing the inside of the coin. But I feel that when you put the uh, intense heat on the outside of the coin that you're going to be seeing 99% of the time, uh, you could maybe cause it to um, get distorted, kind of a little bit of bubbling. So if you don't do it to that, that side, you're not putting the intense flame on it. So that's how I kind of think. Now, again, I've seen other videos um, on YouTube where, you know, they can do this thing all in one time, press them down real easy. Morgans are very, very hard to do. Okay? So let me grab my towel uh, over here. Now, I have been doing a lot of different uh, rings and stuff, but I just wanted to kind of bring this uh, attention to you guys on kind of showing you how I press these Morgan dollars and how hard it is to press these things. Okay, so of course I want to dry the, the coin off because uh, you do not want to um, have a damp um, coin go onto this because they are steel and steel does rust. So you want to keep the, the look and the, and the quality of your tools really, really nice. Okay, so we're gonna just lay this on here. Now I'm gonna really make sure that this coin is straight. Very, very important that the coins are straight um, as I do this. Okay, and then I just do this with a ball bearing. Now there are different size ball bearings that I'll use at times, but this is the main one that I use. And just kind of making sure that everything is centered uh, as good as it can. And uh, I'm going to press down on it just a little bit, making sure that that coin will not move, it's stationary, and I have a leverage bar right here that I'm going to put over this because you can't do this without the leverage bar. All right, now I'm going to watch that coin and I'm just going to press it down a small amount, just like that. Really a very small amount, just like that. Now again, I've seen people press these things down one time, one time only and it is impossible. Now I put a lot of force to it, uh, but the thing is, is you don't want to do it one time because that coin, if it shifts over, such as that right there, I'm gonna kind of show it to you. If it shifts over like that as I'm doing it, so if I put a cover over it and go, you know what, that coin's not gonna move, or my, my thing is so stationary, the coin's not gonna move, um, that coin will move. It will slowly, slide, slide over, slide over, and if that thing slides up like that, or even like this, you're going to be pushing it down, and there's a there's a center thing in here. So you never really see 
the true uh, making of these things on Facebook, or uh, not Facebook, but on YouTube. Um, so this is why I'm doing these videos, because it is more work than it actually looks. Um, so you're going to press these things down, just a small amount, and uh, I will always recenter it. <clears throat> and I'm only going to press it twice. Because the coin is so hard, I'm only going to press it down twice and then reheat it. Okay, so really making sure that that coin is straight. Because no matter what, if it isn't, it could slip and fall. And it's happened to me a couple times. And it's not fun. It's not fun and it's scary as heck. Okay, so I'm pressing it down, making sure it's stable. Like that coin is not going to move. Um, with a little bit of force. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of putting force to it. I'm putting it down with force. And then what I do is I'm just gonna put a little bit more force and fold it, just like that. So it is a lot of patience, a lot of time and stuff on making these bells. Um, but in the end, they look amazing. But I wanted to kind of let people know that there is a lot of time and a lot of patience that goes into making something like this. Um, and these Morgan coins are thick, uh, but they're a very, very beautiful bell. So again, um, if you're uh, new and don't have me on Facebook um, and you want to see my other jewelry and want to see uh, pictures of this bell um, completely done and some of my other rings and stuff, please, uh, uh, Add me to my Facebook. I'm going to leave a link below. Um, and if you can, subscribe to my channel. And uh, that really helps me out. I am going to be doing more and more videos of me uh, doing some of these rings and kind of showing you uh, things that I do um, to make my, my jewelry uh, beautiful. And to show people there is a lot of patience in this uh, doing it. Um, it's mostly for the people that, you know, they see a video and they're going, you know what, I want to, um, I can do this. And look it up and buy the tools and go, wow, it's a little bit harder than it looks. So, again, you know, just kind of showing that to everybody um, that it really takes a lot of time and that the videos can be decisive, you know, or um, misleading. And uh, I just want to kind of show you uh, the true unedited uh, way of doing it. Okay, you guys take care and have a very good day and please subscribe to this channel and uh, I will be back on showing you really cool tips and also showing you a uh, More of the folding once I get into these bigger guys. Okay, you guys take care and have a very good day and uh, Be safe. Bye